Okay. Now I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about the interior of the car, um, some things I love. Let's start with the seats. So these are seats from a Lotus Exige. Uh, they are not, uh, they don't have any Lotus uh, badging on them, which is nice. Um, they're incredible. Uh, you really feel like you're one with the car. They come with four point harnesses, these sparkle harnesses, which again are great because let's face it, they're less intense than a five point if you're just driving around the city or whatever. Um, but you know, when you do obviously drive this car for what it was, it was meant to do, um, you're hooked nice and tightly in. Um, testament, my girlfriend saw these seats and thought they were way too thin. Uh, but we did a rally for three days and every day she got out and said, wow, it's amazing. You just, your, your, your posture is good. Um, you, you feel every movement of the car, but it's not like super rough or anything like that. So the seats are great. Um, whoever gets this car, you'll be asked almost on a daily basis if someone can buy your seats from you. I tell them no, keep them in the car. Um, Moe's steering wheel, uh, Alcantara. So there's kind of a Al Alcantara theme. Again, this is, uh, you know, an Alcantara dash, which is really nice because it eliminates the glare. Um, apologies for the dog hair. That obviously is not going to be included with the car. Um, I'll take my dog for one last ride here and vacuum it up and take some pictures. Um, but um, the interior is great. I, I replaced, uh, there's a wood knob that I'll include with the car. Uh, you'll see it maybe in some videos or shots that came with the car originally. Uh, it's a hard dog, I think like that uh, shift knob it just I just kind of like the feel of it a little better a little more grippy but if you like wood you get the wood one uh, these aftermarket cup holders are great again for two people they fit a can or Zoji Rushi um, you know sized thing um, one nit um, I do want to be transparent about that I've been chasing I've had the car you know a year and a half or so and uh, Ariel again at uh, wrench has been trying to fix this uh, starter issue. So it's really, to me, just kind of annoying sometimes. Uh, definitely not a non-starter or anything like that, pun intended. Um, but uh, we replaced uh, this actual switch, we replaced the actual starter motor, and yet let's see if it, do, it does it this time. Sometimes it doesn't, but yeah, so fire right up. Let me try to get it to do it. Now that I'm videoing this, it doesn't do the problem. Um, the problem is just basically it just doesn't uh, it doesn't engage the starter for whatever reason. Uh, so Errol thinks it's a wiring issue, um, probably one that you'd have to pull the dash on, which you know is never fun. Uh, so that's kind of why I have not completely fixed it. Although again, it's an intermittent issue. I can't even get it to replicate the problem right now. Uh, more here to see if it does it and this is good real world this is a good real world test of uh, what you would experience if you want to chase the problem down I, I really don't think it's a big deal hold on one second come on firing up every time okay I'm gonna try to do this replicate this another time uh, I don't know that it's worse when the car is cold or anything like that I, I can't figure out uh, what, kind of what's triggering it but um, again uh, it is, it, it does happen sometimes, but I've never been stranded in this car ever, period, but uh, certainly not by this issue. So you, you know, if it happens to you, just take a deep breath and uh, try it again. There we go. Okay, so click, see, no start. You got lights on. Do it again. And it fires right up. So that, that's actually very typical of what you'll experience with this car. You know, um, yeah, hopefully you can fix it, or actually I might even, if depending on the auction timing, I might throw it back to Ariel and see if he can, uh, if he can trace it down.